What a scintillating victory for the Minnesota Vikings beating the Seattle Seahawks. Mike Zimmer, head coach, joins us now. The, the fans arrived early. There were a lot of them. They were loud. They stayed late. And uh, it was just wonderful. What did you like about it? Yeah, the crowd was great. They were extremely loud. Um, you know, they're, they're very, very important to us uh, when we play games at home. Uh, it gives us a great home field advantage, and, and the, uh, the energy level helps with our team. And uh, the opportunity to help is right in front of you this weekend, Sunday at noon. Cleveland is in town. Very good Cleveland Browns team. Uh, they're 2-1 and one from the AFC North, and they like to run. Number one in the NFL in rushing attempts, number one in rushing touchdowns. Uh, you see it that way. I mean, statistically, that's correct. But is that what they want to do first with offense run? Yeah, first, first and foremost, they want to run. They've got two great backs. Um, you know, both these two guys run extremely hard. Their offensive line is very good. They've got a good scheme. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, the, the play actions come off of that. When, when you see their offense, head coach Kevin Stefanski, a lot of Vikings feel with uh, the Cleveland Browns, a lot of former coaches here or there. When you see their offense, do, do you see yours? Do you see San Francisco's? Is it kind of all the same? There's some of that. Uh, Bill Callahan is their offensive line coach, and he's done a great job for a number of years. Uh, you know, they've got, they've got the zone scheme and they've got the gap scheme. So they'll, they'll run counters and stutters, and, and, and then they'll run the, the uh, normal press plays like the out wide zone like we do. With the, with the two running backs they use most, specifically Nick Chubb, what, uh, what does Nick Chubb do well? Well, they are both extremely hard runners, but uh, he's got great vision, see, sees, the, sees the holes. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's, he, he's able to cut back, but he's able to get to the perimeter as well. And, and with Kareem Hunt, uh, more defined for his catching in Kansas City than his running, is it still like that? Yeah, they use him in third down. He's their third down back. But they'll use him in there and, and really run the same exact runs with him. They, um, uh, they have this number 25, this rookie, Demetric, uh, Demetric Felton, the UCLA rookie. And they don't use him a ton, but in that Houston game, Couple of catches, 51 yards. He dropped a pass last game that probably would have been a touchdown or something like that. Um, what are they doing with him? Well, one was a screen, and yeah. they're using him as a rocket, uh, you know, as, as a guy that used the jet sweeps and, and things like that. So they'll start using him in motion. They'll line him up as a wide receiver, could be in a running back. Uh, sometimes they'll scat him out of the backfield in, in pass protection. And, and you mentioned their, their offensive line, Bill Callahan, as Mike said, super well respected. He's their offensive line coach. Their right guard, Wyatt Teller, is, is, um, is he one of the most underrated players in the NFL? Not a lot of people know who he is, but all I hear is that he's fantastic. Yeah, he's a very good player. But, the, you know, the whole offensive line is, is very good. They're all big guys. They do a great job. Um, they're all on the same page. Uh, uh, J.C. Trotter gets them in the right, in the, in the right uh, plays. Yeah. And then the guards, uh, they do a good job, and the tackles do a good job, too. A lot of different schemes. How, well, their offensive line like Seattle's offensive line they rotated the right tackles with shell down but with the lines you've seen so far Cincinnati Arizona Seattle then this one with Pierce Tomlinson Kendricks Harrison Smith what you bring at teams like how, how does it match up compared to what you've seen well, they do a lot of things out of um, like a three tight end, one back, one wide receiver formation, mm -hmm. and they'll give you a lot of different looks. They'll open up the open up the formations, and then they'll give you a lot of uh, two tight ends, two wides, like like we like to do. Um, so they give a lot of different things. Uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to make sure we're very solid on tackling. They're gonna try to make our corners tackle, get bounce the ball to the perimeter, make our corners tackle. So we've got to do a great job there. So so now that your former offensive coordinator Kevin Stefanski has been there a couple. Of years and a couple of off seasons can you see a feel for what he's building with this offense with the running game the offensive line sneaky little felton stuff like that because i, I remember in 2018 when he became your interim offensive coordinator first game against miami you ran for like 260 mm -hmm. and and you know i and that's what's important to you to complement your defense are you seeing that there well, I think that's that's a lot of his mo now. Uh, you know, they're running running the football a lot. He'll run, uh, you know, in certain situations they run a reverse pass, they run a flea flicker. They've got some some of the trick plays that they'll throw in there, a double pass one time. So uh, you know, we're gonna have to be on our p's and q's in that area too. So it all comes off the running game though. Big, big game for the players, big game for the coaches, just like every single one is. But seriously, big game for the fans too, coming off a win because if they want to run first, if they get in these second and third and longs, 
and you get a chance to make them left-handed as a pass-first team, I'm, that, that's like big, right? Yeah, that's that's huge. Um, you know, they don't want to be in third and long situations if they can help it. But uh, you know, they they're going to use their they're going to spread spread out and uh, no backs at times, and so they can get some quick throws in there. So we we got to do a great job in in uh, really first and second down. Mike Zimmer, X's and O's, Vikings and Browns, noon KFAN Vikings Radio Network Sunday. Baker Mayfield, their quarterback. What do you see in him? You know, he's he's playing really well. Uh, he he will scramble uh, when there's times to go, but he's throwing he's throwing the ball well. I've seen him make a, a lot of strides over the years, and uh, I think he's doing a great job. You know, they've got the two first picks in in the draft. You know, with yeah. with him and uh, Garrett, so yeah. um, they've they've got a lot of number ones in their in their system. And uh, and with the Vikings' offensive line, their first round pick Christian Darrisaw yet to play, but nevertheless. You know, all those penalties in the Cincinnati game, 80 yards alone on the offensive line, last two games, looking at it, calling the game from afar. Seems like it's been fantastic with your offensive line. Yeah, it's been good. We're not shooting ourselves in the foot. We're not taking a lot of negative plays. Uh, you know, we're advancing the football, which is always important. Um, Cousins has been playing outstanding. Um, you know, we got a great effort this week from, from um, uh, that, um, Madison. Madison. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> got a great effort from Madison this week. And, uh, you know, on the offensive line, did a great job. Tight ends and, and, and the backs, all the receivers all did a great job. With uh, with Cousins and um, and just what he's doing through three games, no interceptions so far, a bunch of touchdowns. Um, the you, you've, you've mentioned twice now after, after games his leadership. And, you know, without expounding too much, I, I would imagine, when, when you look for leadership from Kirk that maybe you haven't seen the first three years, like what are you looking for? Well, I think it's just partly the control of the offense. And then, and then the, other, the other part is, you know, uh, there's some, been some off-schedule plays that he's made this year that maybe he hasn't made before. But we've, we've had a lot of good conversations, Kirk and I, and, uh, you know, I, I, I understand where he's coming from in a lot of ways. And that's why I talk about the leadership. And he's talked about um, wanting to be a better leader. And I, I, th I think that's come to fruition. So, so when, like in the Arizona game, when you see K.J. Osborne get fed early on the busted coverage, but then late on a huge play, Kirk's thinking about him, then Conklin scores in the next game. Is that, I mean, is that just the play or somebody willingly thinking about players other than Justin and Adam? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Kirk is really willingly thinking about certain plays. I, I think what he's, what he's doing is, all right, here's my read. This is the matchup I have, and let's go to here first and then go to the second one. You know, uh, not always were those guys that caught balls that you're talking about being, might not have been the first read. You, you see Conklin every day in practice, obviously, seen him all of his career. Have you ever seen him run as fast as he did in that last game on the on that play that went straight down the field? Holy cow, was he fast? Yeah, he's fast. He's he's been fast his his whole time. Uh, you know that's why we drafted him. We like him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Tyler with a nice touchdown against Seattle. Um, and lastly, on Kirk, is, is it fair to look at it, Mike, that with what you're getting from him and the sliding and the ducking and the 29 yard run, um, through all of that, you're loving it. Uh, his yards per attempt is 7.7, .7, so that can even be better, right? So maybe there's better on the horizon. Yeah, and, and a lot of it, again, it's, it, it depends on what the, the defense is giving you. You know, they're, they're taking away some of our deep shots, uh, and so, but, but advancing the football, getting a five, eight, eight yard gain is big because now it's third and two or whatever it is, and we have opportunities to, to do, you know, we did much better this last week on third downs, and that was one of our goals this, this past week. Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski came here with Brad Childress and, and you know, through from Childress through Leslie Frazier uh, into, um, into Mike Zimmer. I mean, how rare is it to last that long through three regimes? What are some qualities that lead to that with him? Yeah, well, you have to be. Uh, he, he's very diligent about his work. He's 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 a thinker. He wants to uh, analyze things. He wants to be very organized, um, you know. And then then he's got a calm, per, calming personality that uh, uh, I think allows the players to play well. Uh, the Browns special teams coordinator Mike Prefer was also with uh, Mike Zimmer, and Prefer's protege Ryan Ficken is the special teams coordinator now. So we talk about Kevin wants to run. You love to stop the run, um, and Kevin used to work here with you, and then Prefer and Ficken, one and one A for so many years. That I mean, what? What? I don't think I've ever asked you this. What do you think of that special teams coaches matchup? Yeah, well, you know, it, it's it, 
at the end of the day, we're similar in a lot of ways, similar to their special teams. And uh, what we got to do is have our players play really good, and, and uh, hopefully we, we break some things. You know, I think, I think we've improved on special teams this year. I think we've been more fundamentally sound. I, I feel like, you know, we've had some returns. We had a penalty last week, but we had a 12-yard return. Um, you know, we've had, had some good coverage. Uh, I think, you know, some of our punts have been uh, better than what we've had in the past. So yeah. I think all those things are kind of a combination. Of, of really being uh, diligent and about fundamentals and technique. Now, now we're into three. So Patrick Peterson, I mean, sometimes just gets no action for long patches of time. Overall, outside of the um, the sideline play at Cincinnati where maybe he got a little lost, what have you, what have you been seeing from him? Um, from Patrick? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think he's done a good job. Uh, I think for the most part, uh, you know, he's he's done a really good job. He's he's trying to do different things. Uh, you know, he's trying to understand the coverages that we're trying to work. And I think he's been, uh, you know, he, he he takes challenges every single week. You know, he's he was lined up on Metcalf some last week. He was he was on 16 some last week. Um, you know, so uh, you know he he takes those challenges personally. Do, do you overall, lastly, sense your team crescendoing a little? Not to the top, but, hey, Cincinnati, we had this. Then Arizona, we had this. Then we won and had this. I mean, is it is it building the way you want it to at this stage? I think the big thing, Paul, is that we're starting to have some confidence. You know, we believe that we we have a chance to have a good football team. But when you go out and you go out and prove it mm -hmm. uh, and you see the things like offensively the last two ball games, what, we, what we've done offensively, and then defensively when we're good, we're really good. Right. You know, and, uh, and unfortunately when we were bad a couple of times, we were pretty bad. But, uh, you know, if we continue to take those little steps and keep working on fundamentals and technique and everybody being on the same page, uh, I think we have a chance to be a good team and I think they're starting to believe that.